what you guys gonna have a video here for you in this one we're gonna be looking at how we can reset or repair the Windows Update agent or client as it's known as well uh, in Windows 10 now this also works for Windows XP right the way up to Windows 10 and also Windows Server as well now I wouldn't suggest you go out and start running scripts like this because this is a script uh, which is going to try and do that for us which has been created by uh, Manuel F uh, Gill I think that is and I'll leave the link in the video description for you now this is quite a complex uh, script and it will uh, do a lot of fixes and resets and repairs for your Windows updates and you can see here there's quite a list of stuff here uh, what it actually does now I'm not going to go into too much detail here about what it is now if you are going to be using something like this make sure you back up all your data and make sure uh, that you set a restore point or something like that or back up uh, using some sort of backup program just to give you a safety net here because obviously uh, when these things run they will make changes to your operating system and also the registry as you can see here so it's quite a, a complex script okay so I take no responsibility for that and I'm pretty sure that this guy who created it doesn't uh, take any responsibility as well as when you download it you have to agree to their terms so you can see here it's going to do uh, reset Windows update components and when you run this it will reset the update components now you've seen me make videos on this uh, before where you have to manually go in and stop services and then you have to rename folders and stuff like that this will take care of all of that you can see here uh, the cat root 2 uh, which uh, renames that ren is a command that's telling it to rename uh, the cat root uh, 2 to dot back uh, which is i've done in my videos manually and this is going to do it all for you uh, in an automated process here so it's very quick and easy now you can see here register the bits files for windows updates and this is going to re-register all the dll's here uh, in this video we'll show you how it works i'll run the script for you so you can see it in action and uh, it's safe to run uh, you can see here resetting winsock uh, resetting the win http uh, proxy and there's loads of other bits inside here as well you can see the services here uh, start bits uh, net start bits also net start uh, the w u a u s e r v and these are the ones you've seen me uh, doing inside command prompt here and this will do it all for you it's compatible and uh, verified with all these platforms here okay so it's not uh, valid for windows server 2012 or 2012 r2 or 2008 r2 so the server ones it's not compatible with uh, but it is for all the other ones here so let's go ahead and take a look at it so i've got it on uh, the desktop here now you don't want to be running this if your updates are fine you only want to run this sort of a uh, thing when you're having uh, problems with your uh, windows update so this is it here it's got a readme file in here you can take a look at this and read it it tells you some information about it here and if you find it useful there is a donating uh, paypal to him there as well so this is the actual uh, script here you can see windows command script so i'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control here and it will give you this box that comes up and this box is going to ask you uh, for the terms and conditions you've got to agree to it when you're running it so i'm going to say wifey yes and it will now open up uh, this here this uh, long list so this tool resets the windows updates components so here we have a list of uh, numbers from 1 to 18 and it gives us some options what to do so it opens up the uh, system protection also resets the windows update components and deletes the temporary files in windows so let's first start off with something like that just for uh, simplicity here so we're going to go for free type free in and push enter and it will delete all of those uh, for you very quickly as you can see here now the thing uh, with these scripts is it's not going to give you any sort of warning it's just going to go ahead and do that 
for you and delete a load of files so bear in mind uh, that you've got no control over this once you run it it will just go ahead and do it okay yeah, because we're running this as an administrator and it's just going to run and delete all these files so once you come back here we can now push any key uh, to continue and again what we can do here is reset the windows update components so that is what we want to do so we're going to boot, do two here and push in enter and it will start to stop services as you can see here it's going to start renaming the software distribution folder because normally uh, that has content in it from the downloads for the windows updates and it's just going to rename that and uh, when we do an update it will create a new folder for us but first it's going to have to stop uh, services in the background to do that because Windows may be using those uh, directories and it can't rename folders while it's doing that so it may take a bit of time so let's just be patient here and let it continue and do its thing and there we go the operation has been complete and it's done a lot of tasks there uh, which would take you quite a lot of time uh, to do this by by manually uh, by doing it yourself in the command prompt at a, at one at a time whereas this takes care of it in one fell swoop which is very useful and scripts are really super quick and a great way of fixing uh, computer issues okay now what I'd advise you to do when you've run that is restart your computer and then uh, try uh, the uh, try the Windows updates again so you can see here we can check down a list and see what else we got here we've got some other useful features here like run system file checker so if you're having issues uh, with Windows files you can run the system file checker you just push 6 push enter and it will then uh, start doing SFC scan now in uh, in the background here you can see it's starting to verify and starting to do uh, an SFC scan now for us rather than open up a command prompt and doing that all yourself this is taking care of it in the, in the background here very very quick and very useful uh, for PC repair techs that haven't got a lot of time and they want to carry on uh, doing stuff while this is running and they can go ahead and repair other computers while this is running in the background okay so I've moved on to the next thing here now we can see here we do have some other stuff here like uh, perform repair operations automatically so if we push 9 and uh, push 9 here on the keyboard and push enter it's going to go ahead and start doing that for us and you can see the dism command coming up here restore health and this will be another one that you can do after uh, SFC scan there as well and this is a great way of repairing uh, windows as well so you can see here we do have restart your PC, uh, repairs, resets, windsock. So if you're having trouble uh, with uh, your windsock, you can repair that here. Also search for Windows updates. If we type 14 in, we'll be able to do that there. And also explore other local solutions. So if you type 15, it will give you, let's put 15 in here and push enter. It will give you some more options by opening this up here and going into the troubleshoot area which will allow you to then run troubleshooting uh, diagnosis through here through windows so it does have some useful uh, features built into this script we can type 16 here and it's going to look online for some solutions here and we can use whatever browser we want here let this open up and it will take us to areas here windows updates and you can see here it's given us loads of information about windows updates where we can go through uh, some of this checklist here and make sure that we've uh, tried just every possible fix for our issue there we go very useful now um, what else we got here uh, deletes any incorrect registry values so you've got that one there as well let me just take a look at that so we're just making a backup of the registry, which it's done, and put that onto the desktop here. You can see it's named it backup and a big long number. And now it's gonna to start to go ahead and do some things there. So I'm gonna push enter. 
and say yes. And of course, running these types of uh, scripts, uh, you have to know what you're looking for and what you're looking at. So you can go to the website where he's got the uh, download for this and check out what changes that actually does to the computer. If that's what interests you, if you're into IT, then that's what I'd advise you to go ahead and do. So I'm just going to let this uh, load back up. So anyway, that is the uh, script there. There's plenty of other stuff on here that you can run. And uh, it's a pretty useful script to have, especially if you've got a USB flash drive and you want to keep this on your USB flash drive uh, to uh, run diagnosis and also run uh, fixes for those particular issues. So also we do have here, you can see downloads and diagnostic tools. So if you type 17 inside here, and push enter here it will give you the windows update on windows 7 windows 8 and windows 8.1 and also windows update on windows 10 start menu on windows 10 so you just choose whatever option you want let's just say for instance number two push enter and it will take you uh, to a location here so let me just go to the location see where it's taken us there we go it's downloading uh, the file here we can download this file and run this file so very useful as you can see here i'm not going to go through that stage here but very very useful anyway i'm going to wrap this one up i just want to go through that and show you uh, some of the good features that 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 this script has for you and if you're interested in it i'll leave the link in the video description for you okay this video has been brought to you by zero and nine use the discount code to get your cheap copy of windows 10 pro you can use the promotion code brian w for windows 10 professional oem key and get a discount and get that for 12 dollars 79 if you're interested in microsoft office 2016 professional plus retail key you can use the promotion code brian m and you can get a reduced uh, price on that as well by using that coupon code links in the video description anyway i'm going to wrap this one up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.